It's early May in Alaska. Too soon for salmon, but already some fish have made it to the upper reaches of this wilderness river. These are Eulicon. Only an exhausted handful have got this far, swimming in from the deep Pacific. Three weeks earlier, tens of thousands gathered at the mouth of the river. They've been out at sea for four years, feeding on plankton and building their strength. But for the next few weeks, nothing must get in the way of that instinctual urge to spawn. But already they've hit a problem. They need a high tide to get them over this barrier. But harbor seals have been here for weeks. The seals form a barricade right across the river. They eat about five kilos of fish every day. It's carnage. And danger isn't confined to the water. An aerial assault is also underway. The changing of the tide brings the massacre to an end and the Eulicon race upriver. But the attacks aren't over. Sea lions take a different approach. Driving the fish ahead, they pounce. Several thousand Eulicons survive even this. Pressing on another few kilometers, nearer the spawning grounds, the air fills with gulls. Yet again, the Eulicons suffer heavy losses. But at last, they're on the home straight, but still not safe. The river itself has a cruel twist in store. Strong currents sweep the gravel into banks, forming shallow pools. Trapped only meters from their goal, the Eulicon can't escape and slowly die. Amazingly, a small number of these slender, silvery fish always make it. Tens of thousands set out on this journey. Only a handful arrive, but it's enough. Their offspring will then make the long journey back to the Pacific, where they'll prepare for their own test of strength. <laughs>